when you want to invest in a country like Ghana to be precise um, you go in on the internet to search on um, business to invest in or the kind of business to do there's there, there are not enough data welcome back guys thank you for clicking on the play button so like you saw on the thumbnail or the title if you are an African in the diaspora or a Ghanaian in the diaspora or you are just someone that love to invest in growing economies here are a few businesses you can invest in I have done my research on this business so I have done the research for a, a long while actually and this um, this five business are my own findings and if you would want to invest in this feel free to do your own research but these services or these businesses are uh, they are needed and people are asking for it. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So this particular business is for maybe you are, you are a young girl like myself and you're thinking of coming to Ghana and you don't know what to start, um, the kind of business to start with. You can start with that. It is easy, especially if you already know the techniques around this. It is easy and it is in high demand. My sound so, so, insignificant but when you hear it and then you do your own research you would know it's a high it's a high service that people are really in search of good um, good mobile nail technicians now as a lady I have um, I know a lot of ladies that don't joke with their nails pedicure manicure but also having a mobile dedicated mobile nail technicians in this country is so hard like people don't know how to do it very well and they're still mobile it is hard um they prefer the traditional way of doing business which is having a store you sit in your store people come book for service but you see the mobile nail technicians they're really hard to come by here so if you're thinking of setting up like a nail salon think of making it a mobile nail salon so now when i say mobile it's not necessarily you having a, a truck and you're mobile you're doing people's nail no you might just be online only people book for your service you go to their home to do their nails or maybe they're in a resort or a hotel you just go there make their nails make your cool cash and you're out a digital library service okay let me break it down you see for book lovers like us um, yes we want to buy books we want to keep this book but at the same time we also want to have that feel of going into a library where we can swap books when we finish reading the book we put it back now i'm not talking about digital in the sense that the books are not tangible no your store is online right we can go on onto your website or wherever you choose to display we choose the books we want to read for that month we, we maybe have like a membership fee or something and we get the book delivered to us at a fee when we are done reading when we want to get another book we send that one back and we have it we have a new one i have never seen this service here i have not i, I think there are few book clubs but it's not like a digital library it is totally totally not so people that like reading would definitely definitely like this business idea if you structure it very well i'm very 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 sure you can make good money from it and also provide a solution to this um, problem in quotes because before you invest in any country or before you invest into any business you must make sure that that business is solution driven like you're so you're providing a solution to a problem that way you are not um, you're not on the losing end because there's already a problem and then you're bringing a solution to meet the problem so I hope you'll be investing in this right to the next one hey so many content creators are springing up every day here in Ghana a whole lot of us are understanding what it means to be a content creator how to walk from not just the comfort of your home but how to create content and show to viewers but also if you are let's say you're living with your parents or you're living with your siblings or you're living in an environment that is so noisy making content can be so hard now myself before making this video i don't know if you can hear the background noise i have a neighbor that has been playing music all day i have been waiting for him to stop but he's still playing so i just had to do this video so now this leads me to this business idea we need 
a content creator studio. So if you're thinking of setting up a business here in Ghana, you should look into this. Have a studio where content creators can just go book time and make their content. If I have somewhere like that, I wouldn't be here right now. I'll be there making my videos. It would have been it, like, it would be so easy. All I need to do is take my equipment there, or you can even have um, the service whereby if you, if you want to rent out your own equipment, it's also allowed. So think of creating a content creator studio. So you have like this big apartment or a big space where you design it so well, you have the proper infrastructure in place where content creators can always come, book for session, and make their content. There are a whole lot of skit makers these days, a whole lot of content creators that just need that cozy and noiseless environment to make our videos. So if you're thinking of a business to start, you might want to look into this one. It is a business that is, um, it is highly in demand. Um, you're providing a solution as well, and then you'll be making money and you're going to be relevant for a really long time because we're all digital now. Is it a digital age? Yes, it's still the digital age. So yeah, it's it's one business you're going to make a whole lot of money from and you're also still providing solutions to the problems of many. To the next one. Okay, this is another business that is slightly related to the one I gave earlier, which is for the tech, the nail technician people. Now, hair removal service. So many ladies these days, including myself, they suffer from PCOS. Now we get to have um, body hair which I there's nothing wrong with your body hair but for someone like me that don't like to grow my body hair and I always like to wax my body hair sometimes going into the salon to just sit down and wait it is not so private where I can get my body hair waxed or sometimes as well if you want to go to the high-end um, high-end um, salon or people that will give you this service it can be also really expensive but you have to leave the comfort of your home and travel all the way down to this people's studio if you can invest into a hair service um, a hair a hair removal service but mobile as well a lot of us need a service a whole lot of us actually do need a service all we need to do is come on your website book you and then you come to our home to wax off all the hair it might be sugar wax it might be the normal wax There's a whole lot of emotions to women with pcos right you have to think of sometimes it's shame for some people they're not comfortable with the body hair the facial hair the chest hair the leg the hair on their body some people are not comfortable with it and they want it removed but going to this place leaving the comfort of their home and also what they are not comfortable with they still also have to go to this place to have the service done it will be such a relief to have someone come to the comfort of someone we can trust so you have to be like a proper business we can trust we book you you come to our home and get all the hair waxed up now to the very last on this list the tech gurus the tech guys what are you all waiting for um recently there was this investment company that recently came to ghana i was expecting them to at least provide a solution to um, an existing problem in ghana but they came with what they already have but they did not necessarily look into what i'm about to say the tech guys please and if there's any kindly suggest down we need a, an automated saving app here in Ghana. So it's a business that there's a ready market for it. Ghanaians already have, um, we already have that saving habit, right? So we need you guys to come and invest here, right? Have that app where we can automate our savings on it, where it is so easy for, for the for the money to just leave our maybe our momo or our bank account and it goes straight into the saving app now there are other ways people try to save through insurance and all of that but it's not always as seamless as having um, a saving app when i was back then in nigeria i used to save with kari wise and piggy bank i still do save with them um kari wise to be precise um, but now my life is here in ghana i need for the past five years or so i need to have like an automated saving here in Ghana as well. So if you are 
a tech guru or you're in the tech space fintech to be precise and you're thinking of what to invest in here in ghana here's a great business idea for you do not sleep on this guys and we have come to the end of this video so these are just a few things i think you can invest in and make your money if you're just um if you're, a, um, if you're an individual or also a corporate body you can look into this you make enough money from it and it's in demand already so what are you waiting for thanks for sticking with me to the very end of this video and thank you for subscribing guys um i think i'm getting a hang on this whole youtube thing and i'm enjoying it as well so thank you guys for sticking with me till this very end see you in my next video